شو حلو الفضاء وشو حلو لما الحديث بيكون هالقد منوع وغني بمشاركه عالميه اليوم باسبوع الفضاء باكسبو 2020 دبي ضيفه جديده هالمره رح رحب فيها سيسيليا هيرتس بروجرام مانجر فور ذا سبيس ويك ات ذا سويدن Pavilion. I'm very happy and honored to have you with us uh, as well, Cecilia, among our special guests today on Star FM. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. So happy that you invited me to share some details about of the course. activities in Swedish Pavilion. You have amazing stuff happening at the Swedish uh, Pavilion. Sure. <laughs> so people will not be able only to visit Sweden now. They will be able as well to walk on Mars. We will tell you a little bit later yeah. <laughs> about yeah. it. Yeah. Cecilia, uh, how did you get involved in the space? Actually, I was involved already 20 years ago when I came as a student to NASA Houston Johnson Space Center as an industrial design student. And I was so excited also already then to meet the Swedish astronaut Christoph Fuglesang. And we worked with space vehicle interiors. And that inspired me to start my own company, Umbilical Design, now 20 years back. Amazing. Yeah. What attracted you to the space industry? Actually, it was so exciting to meet all these fantastic people working in the space sector with a passion for this and also the idea of working with very complex projects that seems impossible. So I really enjoyed the idea of the everything is possible mentality that the space sector really shows in, in everything they do. So that's what's inspired me. Tell me me about one of the most beautiful projects uh, you you were part uh, of. Oh, it's so many projects. Oh my God, I you should, see the excitement? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I should pick one, it's actually uh, working with a space vehicle called a crew return vehicle that was planned as a lifeboat for the International Space Station. So uh, we really changed the whole interior and made a totally new concept. And uh, yeah, that was fantastic work to do, actually. Nice. Mm -hmm. Today you are at Expo 2020. You are the program manager for the Space Week at Sweden Pavilion. Tell me about this project, please. Yes. Um, of course, this is a favorite project and being here in, in Dubai and uh, doing experience this fantastic uh, place that you have created for the Expo 2020 and be part of that as in Swedish Pavilion. Um, and now we really show everything we have, like you mentioned, we will soon go get into details about yes. Mars and other yes. activities, yes. Yes. planning. But I would say if, if the theme of the whole week is space and sustainability. So we really want to showcase how space can contribute to sustainable development and uh, contribute solving sustainable development goals. Can you give us examples? So yeah. uh, how can space mm. and sustainability uh, work together? Yeah. If many people don't connect space and sustainability at the first uh, thought, but when we think about the International Space Station or future habitation on Moon and Mars, everything is like enclosed systems, of course. So we see everything as resources, so nothing is like waste. So everything has to be recycled, reused. And I used to talk about astronaut lifestyle because the astronaut consumes exactly the amount of water, food, energy, volume that they need. So this is very interesting looking into water, for example. The astronauts in the space station, International Space Station, consumes 26 liters of water oh. per day Whoa. and person. And for example, in Sweden, we consume 160 liters of water per person. Oh. So we have a lot of things to learn from the astronaut lifestyle. Wow. And how about food? For astronauts, yeah. It, what do they also, eat, and how yeah. how uh, food will be uh, taken to to uh, to the space? It, it's uh, it's what actually form? very. It's a uh, it's a uh, free dried food, and um, it's very special menus. And this is also something we can be inspired of. So they they come the menus is actually tailored for you as an astronaut. So you eat exactly the amount of, I mean, the nutrition you need per person meaning there will be no waste, so you, you do not throw away food. So that's mm. also something in the, the astronaut lifestyle yeah, concept. And is, is it a normal type of food? Because, you know, I, I passed by one of the pavilions mm. uh, by Lithuania, mm. and they had print your food, mm. and then uh, the food will become a, a square, yeah. and this is what uh, the goal is, like so that astronauts will yeah. be able to take this 
squares <laughs> yeah. with, with them to... We also have to make it uh, look good, of course, yeah. because you also eat with your eyes, as yeah. I always say. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, so so, so yeah. is it normal food? They... It, it's not. It's very complex. To I, I was involved in the project with a space yogurt, for example, and it took like five years to get it onto the NASA wow. baseline food list because it's so specifically how you need to develop it. So it, it's quite complex. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. You have an astronaut at the Sweden uh, Pavilion, yes, yes. astronaut Christer uh, Foglesang. Okay. Uh, so uh, he's, uh, he's there, but you can meet him based on the schedule of the Sweden yeah. Pavilion during this uh, week. Yes. Till when he's staying here? He's staying the full week, so he's working very hard. So we, oh. we do a lot of things with him every day, enjoying uh, experience like uh, travel to Mars in two minutes. It's a VR experience. Yeah. Yeah, so let's talk fun. about yeah let's yeah. talk about this because Sweden pavilions is among the pavilions where all the vit visitors can experience the space week it's not only about partnerships it's not only about like uh, uh, entering this part of the world or talking to to the professional uh, people no we're talking here with visitors with people who have the curiosity and yeah. the interest to know what's happening on Mars how does it look like and all these things yeah. so what can people experience mm. until the 24th of october and mm. uh, uh, in the sweden uh, pavilion yeah. we have a, a co-creation scene so that's where we have all the activities that is open for public and for example what i mentioned the vr experience is super exciting so i can really recommend uh, visit uh, the swedish pavilion to experience it um, uh, that's a travel to Mars in two minutes. And we also have a Mars rover that you can test drive with an iPad. So it's a lot around Mars in Swedish Pavilion. But totally different is also that we have uh, a project we call Space for Wildlife. Uh, so here we will look into how space sector can contribute to stop poaching. And that was when I heard that it's 55 elephants actually killed per day. So oh. I thought we need um, from the space sector to actually, we, we launched um, a five-year innovation project together with Peace Park Foundation um, just the other day. And now we work with um, activities around the uh, Peace Park Foundation and we have rhinos that uh, kids can come and, and paint, uh, do painting about the, uh, and, and learn about the uh, Peace Bar Foundation and how we should contribute to stop poaching for di biodiversity. So that's to mention a few of the uh, exciting activities, activities yeah. going on. And of course, there are interesting lectures from uh, both in space research and uh, from our Swedish astronauts and yeah, so, so it's a lot of activities going on there. I, I heard mm. today you had a very interesting round table uh, gathering with amazing uh, people. Can we know a little bit what happened today? <laughs> yes, I, I'm so excited. We had a fantastic moment together. Uh, at a, uh, It was actually starting with a space luncheon, talking about space food. So first they got to experience, uh, we did this with the Swedish uh, chefs in the pavilion. So first, nice space luncheon. Um, and followed by a round table about space and sustainability. And where we were so excited to... to uh, have the the guest uh, of four uh, four astronauts, including our Swedish astronaut. So it was a Brazilian astronaut, also Minister Pontes, uh, and uh, we had uh, which we were very proud of to have Hassa Al Mansouri and uh, Noura Al Matrushi, the UAE astronauts, and um, we also had the State Secretary Kristen Nielsen and the Commissioner General Jan Teslev. And also we were around 40 people discussing this important um, importance of space and sustainability, how we actually can contribute more for Agenda 2030. So uh, we also launched uh, the Space for Agenda 2030, which is an is initiative that will continue and it also build upon the event we had the other day um, uh, with, a, with the Expo 
2020 program of space where the world comes together for progress, where we developed a blue marble vision also with several astronauts and it was co-curated by Italy. Um, and uh, I mean, it, it was amazing. So we are totally yeah. thrilled about everything beautiful, that happens. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, Cecilia, uh, I, will, I will end this, this interview with you with a message that people should remember mm. Uh, after listening to all these interviews, after uh, uh, maybe uh, having more knowledge about, uh, about about the space and the space week at Expo 2020, what should people now from different fields uh, know and learn from uh, the space week? Yeah. Uh, I think the importance is because, as we discussed a bit earlier, just that many people don't connect space and, and sustainability. sustainability. So I think that's one of the most important messages, I would say, because we get so much insights from space in our everyday life. So, uh, I, I mean, this is really what I want people to, to remember and see that the challenges we have uh, on, on Earth that could actually be solved uh, uh, from space. So that's many people ask, tend to ask, uh, why space? And then we used to say, because Earth depends on it. Mm. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Thank you so much, Cecilia Hertz, Program Manager for Space Week at the Sweden Pavilion. Uh, it was amazing talking to you and listening to your beautiful stories. Thank you for joining us, Cecilia. Thank you so much for inviting me. Appreciate it a lot. Thank you. Yeah? Thank you. 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 Thank you.